All right, so the question here is to solve for the current in the 200 ohm resistance connected to the secondary or the IO transformer. So we have 200 ohm um, resist resistors, this one and then this one, but obviously the problem is talking about the secondary of the ideal transformer, so we're talking about this one here. So let's not get confused. So the, he's ask, they are asking for us to find the current through... Um, this current over here, the secondary. Okay. So let's try to simplify this circuit over here. As you can tell, um, this is not easy to find the current in this current uh, configuration. So let's try to simplify here. I can already um, see here that I have a current source and a resistor in parallel. So I can devonize that and have a voltage source in series with a resistor. We can do that. Okay? And then we can find whatever we have here for the ideal resistor. We can find that out using um, the formula in the book, in the handbook. So let's do that. Okay? So simply find the circuit, we'll have this. This will still stay the same. We're not doing anything with it. So the 2 volts. And then we have 100 ohm still. This is a dependent current source, by the way, which is dependent on I1 here. Okay. And so we can um, simplify this by having a voltage source. Voltage sources are, um, in my opinion, easier to deal with actually, especially when we're dealing with uh, KVL and stuff like that. So um, let's simplify it that way. So we have a, car I mean, a voltage source. So V equal IR. This is I, and as R. So 50,000 I1, it will become 50 I1 times 1,000. So this will be 50,000 I1. Now, instead of having a parallel, now we have series. So we just transform this into the same thing. Okay, so we, still, we have our 200 ohm, the primary, now to do that um, for the secondary, this is what we have in the book. On page, uh, what page is that? 198, we have ZP. Is equal to A square, as in the turn ratio, times ZS secondary. Okay, so um, what's our turns ratio is 4 because we have N1 over N2. This is equal to 4, 1. And therefore, this is equal to A. And therefore, A is equal to 4. If we had a 1, 4 here, then of course is going to be one four but I mean I just like to use this to just see it clearly because sometimes working in your head doesn't work sometimes okay so a is equal to four and therefore to find that particular resistance we would have to multiply by 16 and so we have here in the primary we have 16 times 200. This is equal to 32. And use KVL to find our things that we need to find. Remember that uh, the question was to find the current over here. Okay, so now we have an I2 here. Uh, this was plus to minus here. 
we can assign um, going through this direction plus minus plus minus here we can have um, plus minus right, now we can use KVL alright so KVL through the first loop here we have um, going in this direction we have a voltage rise so that's 2 volts voltage drop minus 100 I1 voltage drop minus 200 I1 is equal to 0 that's for the first loop over here now I've seen some professors I was taught actually um, as an alternative for KVL that um, the first sign that you encounter is going to be the sign of, on your equations like for instance we would have minus 2 here because that's the first first sign minus and then we would have plus 100 and then we have plus 100 now you notice it's the same thing and that probably is easier but I like to use logic because um, if the current is going from minus to plus that's a voltage rise and then this is a voltage drop going through a resistor you have a drop and then this is a drop that's why I use minus signs but if you find that you know using that sign encountering whatever is easier for you you can still do it that way because you we still end up with the same result but I'm s I'm so used to having like plus to minus is a plus you know and use a rise and a drop logic because that makes more sense to me all right now second loop we have um, I2 plus to minus so that's a drop minus 50,000 I1 plus minus plus minus plus minus so minus is a drop so we have minus 10,000 I mean not that 10,000 but 1,000 I1 or I mean excuse me I2 this is a drop again minus 200 I2 and this is another drop 3200 I2 all of it equal to zero that's our KVL now we can just um, we have two equations with two unknowns we can go ahead and calculate I2 here because we want to know the current over here again we're not concerned with I1 at all okay so uh, we have 2 is equal to uh, 300 I1 as such I1 is equal to 2 over 300 okay so we can go ahead and replace that in our equation here and find it out that I2 is equal to whatever it is so let me put this here so I have minus 2 over it's going to be a minus sign is equal to 1244 100 I2 so 4400 I2 and so I2 is equal to let me use a calculator here 50,000 times 2 divided by 300 divided by the 4400 so that's 0 0.075 75 75 so that's 75 minus 0 0.75 milliamps okay so now this is what what is this this is the primary current this is the primary current now we want to know what is the secondary current even though it says a 2 here but if you look at the circuit here we converted let me show you 
we converted the 200 into a primary load. Remember, ZP, A squared ZS. Okay, hope you're following the logic here. Even though it says I2 is not secondary current at all, this is this particular, this I2 value is primary current. Let me write it down. This is primary current. Now we want to know secondary. Secondary. What do we do? Remember N1. Let me put that here. N1 over N2 which was 4 over 1. This is equal to secondary I2 over primary. So I2 would be, now all real I2, let me call that um, secondary probably. Yeah, just to not confuse us. And then over, um, hopefully, yeah, but you get the point. This is secondary. This is primary. Let me use that. Otherwise, ones and twos will confuse you. So secondary. So I secondary now is 4 times minus 75 point seventy five milliamps. So whatever that is is going to be our final answer. So I two. Let me put that here. I I secondary. I guess is equal to times four three o three. So minus three o three point zero three. This is our answer. Okay. Yes, so this is the answer to the problem is 303. That's it. Thank you.